You are a total if you do this. <laughs> Hey guys, Badminton Becky. I'm an American living and playing badminton in China. Please hit the subscribe button and follow along as I talk about all things badminton and try to be a top player in my city. Now, fresh off of the competition last week where my awesome partner turned out to not be awesome and a conversation I had with another badminton playing friend of mine, I wanted to say three things badminton players should never do. I would bet that uh, most of you do one of these three things. Warning, there's gonna be a lot of swearing because I get pretty passionate about this, but I'm gonna bleep it out, so don't worry. The first one, don't yell to tell your partner where to stand. So I'm gonna say all of these happen a lot more to women playing with men. The men often will yell out to their partner like, get to the front, do this, blah, 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 in the middle of a rally. So why is this so bad? It shows that you're not paying attention to the game. When we move in badminton, it's basically unconscious, you know? We're not like, oh, there's a clear, so let me cover this, and my partner is behind me, so let me sit, you know? When you get to a certain level, moving is just an instinct. It's unconscious. But when you are looking at your partner, evaluating your partner, deciding where your partner is going wrong, finding the words to tell your partner and speaking to your partner and yelling it out in a game, all of that takes one to two seconds. That is one to two seconds you are not paying attention to your game and where you should stand. And at that point, uh, the shuttles probably landed on your side because you missed it or your partner missed it because everyone's too busy paying attention to your partner and yelling at your partner. Like, what you need to do is react to how your partner plays. If your partner goes in the wrong position, deal with it. Don't yell out, eh, stand over there, good fun, fun. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm yelling in Chinese because that's what I always hear, but like, just deal with it. Deal with where they go. And afterwards, you know, if they're always in the wrong position, you can definitely talk to them. But in the middle of a rally, focus on your game. Also, if your partner really actually does rely on you for learning how to move during a game because you shouted out to them. And I have heard this is sometimes with coaches, with especially younger players. A coach will stand to the side and yell out how the player should move. That doesn't help anybody. We all know badminton is the chess of sports and someone with great, you know, tactics and strategy can easily beat someone with amazing fitness. Badminton is not about who can outrun the other person, but who can outplay the other person. You are not letting them have their own thoughts and you are not building up the ability. You are really, really handicapping them for life that they can't play without you because they're reliant on you telling them where to move because they don't have their own thoughts. So your partner has got to move wrong, you know, and, and suffer the consequences and they got to learn from that. That's how you learn. So if your partner is always shouting at you where to go, you don't learn how to think for yourself and where to go for yourself. And you will never get beyond, you know, baby beginner stage if you rely on someone to tell you where to go. A, it's annoying and B, like you're a total asshole to your partner and not letting them play or learn badminton. And that's quite cruel. I'm at a different location, but I wanted to add one thing to this point is also don't yell out what shot and what action your partner should take in the middle of the rally. I think we've all had the experience of having like our opponents give us a perfect high, slow lift where we are in position, we're behind the shuttle, we're so focused on the shuttle, our body is tense, like the kinetic chain is starting to like do a smash or a fake smash, like a drop or something. And then, you know, you're so focused and you're so ready and excited for the shot. And then your partner yells out, smash! And your whole, what? <laughs> and you totally mess it up because your partner totally distracted you in that second. So don't yell out. Trust your partner knows what to do or they're gonna try their hardest. Trust they're trying their hardest and don't yell out what to do. It's so annoying. The second one, you are a total if you do this. <laughs> what is it? Make some sort of exasperated sound when your partner messes up. Some sort of angry, some sort of sound like that or roll your eyes or drop your racket because you're annoyed or, you know, uh, do something like that. Even if your partner's in front of you and you think and you roll your eyes silently, they are energy, the, the universe's energy. Your partner can feel you. And, and you might say, well, it's automatic. You know, I just get mad. All right, but you're an adult. F control yourself. <laughs> you know, when you're at work and your boss says something stupid, you don't sit there in front of your boss going, ugh. 
You know, you control yourself because you're trying to be mature in front of your boss. Well, be mature in front of your badminton partner too. Don't do these stupid eye rolls, the stupid, uh, the stupid tch, tch, tch. There is absolutely no reason and no justification to do this besides you just being a d The third one, I could make a whole video out of this, but I will try to control myself. It is, after the rally is over, telling your partner what they did wrong. Yes, ladies that are watching this are going, mm-hmm, because we are much more familiar with this than male players, but I see it all the time. First off, nothing I hate more than when I hit the net and then my partner's like, oh, put your racket up higher. Yeah, f you, thank you, I knew that. I'm not a total idiot. Guys, and I'm, and I'm gonna go guys, girls here, but this is guys, guys women women guys will hit the net and be like oh sorry my bad but then they think when a woman hits the net or you know doesn't get to a shovel in time or whatever she's too stupid so she doesn't know how to do it so it's his responsibility to tell her what to do no your partner knows what they did wrong nobody likes to make a mistake everybody feels a little stupid when you make something you know you hit it out of bounds you don't get there in time you you give them a really easy front of the net lift and they smash it right in your face you definitely feel bad the last thing you need is your partner to treat you like an idiot telling you what you did wrong it's going to either make you play worse and more nervous and you know, that's not good, or it's gonna make you angry at your partner. And I know you're thinking, well, you know, I'm just helping them. You're not helping them. If they continually do something wrong, then you can speak to them after the game. Like you can speak to them and say, hey, you know, when, when you're at the front of the neck, keep your racket up. That is totally fine to say. Instead of after every shot, they make a mistake, go keep your racket up, keep your racket up. Because in the game, you're gonna be much more passionate and it's going to come off as judgmental and angry. Whereas after the game, you can say, hey, you know, I've noticed. This is why Aja and I were actually together in the first place. Because back in the day, when I met him, he was like the only guy that never did this. He just let me play and he let me make mistakes. There he is behind me. And if I made a mistake, whatever, he was just silent about it. Now it's quite different, <laughs> but it was just so impressive that he wasn't doing that. And we all know like the really good partners that we have, when you mess up a shot, they say, no problem, Jayo, you know, keep it up. They encourage you. And I know some of you are still saying, well, it's helpful or how else will they learn or criticizing someone helps them remember. No, actually it's been scientifically proven that criticizing someone makes them do worse. It has been proven psychologically that when beginners learn a new skill and all you do is encourage them, they improve at a much higher rate than even better people do when you constantly criticize them, trying to get them to improve. They basically crumble. It's human psychology, all cultures, all people, all age. It is not helpful. Tough love doesn't work. And it is not helpful in the badminton court and on a club night, obviously, it's just stupid, you're just having fun. But in a competition, what are you, an idiot? The only thing you should say to your partner in a competition is, you know, good job or no problem, that's okay, we can do it. It's obviously okay to talk strategy. The guy, you know, give the guy smash opportunities, he always misses, you know, like that's okay. I'm not talking about that kind of thing. I'm talking about like criticizing your partner for how they played. You stood in the wrong space, your, your racket was in the, you know, you weren't ready, blah, 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 don't smash, blah, blah, blah. That's what you just should not do. And I guarantee, so many of you do this. And I know, because I've got I've talked about this before and I've gotten emails about this and, and comments and stuff, and I know a lot of you are thinking, oh, it's too bad your club is so mean or judgmental, Becky. My club never does it. Uh, first off, if you're a guy, uh, you just don't notice it. <laughs> I promise you, whatever country you're in, whatever age you are, whatever level you are, ask the women in the club and they will be quite nice. You might say, my female partner loves to do it, but you know what, us ladies talk and I get a lot of emails from people around the world, so it's not just China or anything. And women, they don't want to make a huge fuss, right? So if a guy is gonna sit there and talk to them for 30 seconds or 20 seconds or even 10 seconds about what to do, a woman's just gonna go, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Some women will get more nervous and then they get too scared to move because they're afraid you're gonna criticize them. So it's just really does not help your partner's game, male or female, it does not help their game and it does not help their skill level. Again, if they're doing something wrong and if they want you to, 
You can do some training after, but don't criticize. Seriously, for sake, don't criticize someone every single time they do something wrong. They know what they did, okay? Just deal with it. Just say, okay, good job, keep it up, no problem. And get on with life, all right? All right, now that I have a big ball of anger in my stomach, even though I've been kicking butt all day against men's doubles, we came to a new club today. And um, you know, they're not like bad, but uh, any club where Ajahn and I can win mixed doubles versus men's doubles, pretty much every single time, not the highest level club. <laughs> Okay, so now that I have bitched and moaned and gotten that off my chest and I know, oh God, I just saw some old guy spit. That makes me mad too. Don't spit on the badminton courts. Anyway, now that I got it off my chest, I am expecting some comments like, oh, not everybody does this. Mm, yeah, pretty much everybody does this. And not me or not my, nobody in my club does it. That's my favorite comment. Congratulations on being totally clueless and having no empathy or paying attention to anyone playing besides you. Because if you say no one in my club does this, you're not paying attention. Just don't do these things, okay? Please, please. All right, that's it. Anger rant over. See you guys next time on the court. Bye.